Bringing a pet home for a child should be a joyous occasion, but it's turned to heartache for animal lovers caught up in the Hong Kong government's latest anti-COVID crackdown, a hamster cull. Anyone who bought hamsters recently has been ordered to hand them over to the health workers. I did think of not turning them in. The first thing I did was to get myself tested and to get my whole family tested. But after some consideration, there were so many unknowns, so this was the only thing we could really do. An increase in COVID-19 infections was traced back to this pet shop, where 11 hamsters tested positive for the virus. Since then, health workers have been visiting other pet shops in the territory to enforce the cull. And the government isn't only targeting animals. Anyone who recently entered the shops will have to go into quarantine for three weeks, whether they had direct contact with the hamsters or not. But most scientists say it's extremely rare for the virus to be transmitted from pets to people. We need to remember that um, you know, millions of people around the world have been infected by SARS-CoV-2. Um, millions of people around the world have pets and there have been no cases uh, proven of pets transmitting infection to other humans. Dozens of shops have been forced to close and animal importers have been ordered to suspend trade. The government says it doesn't have the capacity to test every hamster in Hong Kong, but the cull will cut transmission chains. Barbara Angopa, Al Jazeera.